Welcome back to DR Horton Homeowner Maintenance 101. In this segment, we are going to be reviewing your sub pump and your drain tile system. Your sub pump is connected to a drain tile system. What is a drain tile system? Drain tile system is a 4 inch corrugated PVC pipe that runs around the outside of your house up against your footing that has a rock and fabric bed. And what that does is, especially in the spring or in heavy rains or when snows are melting, Water is melting and getting into the ground, and that water wants to try to get into your house underneath your basement floor. So what it does is it gets into the drain tile system, and that drain tile system is fed down into this sump basket. This sump basket then collects the water, and with the pump that's in there, once it fills up to a certain level, the pump will then turn on and discharge the water up and out the side of your house. So, Water comes into this pail. This pail is about a two and a half foot deep pail, and in there is a submersible pump. Your pump is on a float, not a side float, but a pedestal float. So as water comes into the pail, that float will go up, and it'll turn on the pump by lifting the control valve, is what you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear a hum. And that is the motor turning on, sending water up and out through the discharge pipe. In another segment, we will review the discharge pipe coming out the side of your house and how you connect a extension on that to have the water run out into your swale. But for this segment, I'm just going to show you the care and maintenance for it. So typically, you'll come into here, you might or might not hear your cell pump run in the spring, but it's a good idea to maintain and to check that it is in good working order. And how do you do that? Well, with every cell pump basket, there is a lid that is sealed around and then there's an inspection cover. You'll pull this inspection cover off and you'll be able to see with a flashlight into your pail. By taking about 10 gallons of water, two five gallon pails, you can put water into this pail and that will be enough to lift the, the float up to turn the motor on to discharge the pipe, water out the pipe and off the side of your house, just making sure that it's working and maintaining. And then you can, after that done, take this and put this cover right back on. Now, this system comes with a power alarm. What this is, it's plugged into your GFI, which is dedicated just for your sub pump. And if your sub pump GFI would ever trip, that little yellow light will come on. This has a nine volt battery in the top that you need to replace once a year, just like a smoke detector. And what it's gonna do is it's showing green and then it's gonna turn to red. And now it's indicating with that beep that there is no power here for some reason this has been tripped. So basically you're coming back down, resetting that, turns the power back on, and the system is actually working correctly. I can actually hear the motor running right now and discharging water out the side of your house. And that's a typical um, discharge of water. Now, in some homes, um, I would recommend uh, maybe investing in a battery backup which is a system that you can use in case you don't have power. You can set a battery system here that will charge and give enough power to that sump pump in case there's a lightning storm or a power outage in case of a pretty good storm. You'll at least have power to this system discharging the water up the side of your house. If you have any questions with this, please refer to the thumb drive that was given to you by your D.R. Horton salesperson or visit our website at drhorton.com.